Hi everyone, today in Integrated Math 1, we're going to go over Chapter 4, Lesson 1. Here are the objectives. Make sure you write them down in your notes. Alright, so let's go over the slope-intercept form. The slope-intercept form is when we have the equation y is equal to mx plus b. And m is always going to stand for the slope. B always stands for the y-intercept. Remember, the y-intercept is where it crosses at the y-axis, which in this case is right here. That's why it's 0B. B is your y-intercept. And then, as you see here, the equation for the line is y equals mx plus B. All right, now let's go over slope of a line. And so the rise is the difference of y-values of two points on a line. The run is a difference of x values, two points on a line. And then the slope of a line is the ratio of rise to run for any two points on a line. So remember slope as rise over run, which is equal to the change in y over the change in x. Rise over run, rise over run, rise over run. And as you see, it's consistent the whole way through. So our slope is 3 over 2. Not for part of the line, but for the whole line as a whole. All right, so now let's try example one. We want to write the equation in slope-intercept form. So it tells us what kind of form we want it in. And it says our slope is going to be negative 5. Remember, slope stands for the letter M. And the y-intercept, negative 3, and that's going to be B. And then we want to graph the equation. Well, we know our slope-intercept form is y is equal to mx plus b. So y is equal to m, which is negative 5, x plus b is negative 3. So that's good. Or we can also write it as y is equal to negative 5x minus 3. Both of these work. I prefer this method because you can see the negative 3 and you don't forget about it. Now let's go ahead and try graphing the equation. So here's the equation I already graphed. I'm going to go ahead and write the equation now. Again, I have y is equal to negative 5x minus 3. Remember, our negative 3 is our y-intercept. y-axis to a negative 3, 1, 2, 3. That's our point here. Remember our slope is m, which is negative 5, divided by 1. But as you see here, we would have to go down negative 5 if we were going to do that. So a little trick for this one, when you have a slope like that, is that you're going to switch your signs for both of them. So this negative 5 becomes a positive 5, and this positive 1 becomes a negative 1. So now we're going to rise up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and run to the left this time, negative 1. Normally it would be to the right. And then we have two points. Two points make our line.